It's officially time to start getting spooky because it's October and that means Halloween month and one of the biggest supercard events of the year will be coming around the corner very soon. We're going to look at everything and what we know so far about the Halloween event and given it's October, it's the last full month. In fact, we are less than 45 days potentially away from season 11. Let's let that sink in. And yes, you read the title right. We've got our first ever locker code. Yes, locker codes are coming to WWE Supercard. But I need to know before we get started whether you are getting spooky. Because if you're not, then that's a bit of a problem. So you've got to get started by hitting the thumbs up on the video. If you are getting spooky or you're happy that locker codes are finally making their way to Supercard. I'm shocked it's taken this long. And in the comments down below, I want to know who your favorite Halloween superstar is. Could go as far as Boogeyman, the zombie from ECW, or Gobbledygooker, maybe. Let me know in the comments down below, along with your streak from 24-7 mode. Leave that with your comments, and I'll give you a heart just to say I love you. And to admire your streak, which will clearly be bigger than mine. What did he say? Hey, yo. But one of the biggest surprises of the week was this random Bloodline event just dropped out of nowhere. Yeah, five members of the Bloodline, including Rikishi? I mean, okay. Talking of Rikishi, is free of charge if you finish the Samoan Dynasty quest, which is actually really easy. So if you haven't done it, go do that. But could I get any of the Bloodline from the long-awaited return of Hype Train? Or was my luck about as fake as the Timu Chief himself? Segway. Right, it's hype train time. You guys know how hype train works. There's a whole video coming where we're going to have poor man's go up against the main account. I'm not going to spoil anything, but it's a battle. Let's just put it that way. Who's winning? Main account or poor man's account? I'm going to predict that the main account gets nothing and poor man's gets Tonga lower because that would just be funny. Or poor man's gets big quiche because he's in the quest, which is going to be another Inferno card for both accounts, which is kind of crazy. But I'm also very shocked at the timing of this. I've got to say we're still in dungeons and drop kicks and that event only dropped like 10 days ago and that event is still going on strong we still even got dungeon smasher i'm very surprised the only thing i want to know is how good these cards are because i took a look at these stats compared to the likes of triple h uh, bianca belair uh, jade cargill i have to be honest they didn't look that great it might be that these cards really aren't worth spending on but keep doing the hype trains hype train is leaving the station eight to powerful i love the fact we've got the spring bam bam Bam, bam. Why spring cards? That's a bit random, but you know, I'll take it. Okay, number five there. Right, draw again, baby. We're gonna go six again. So we've got one max hype. We're gonna go six again. We can go five here. We'll draw again. Now on this go, I cannot spend any credits. I can do one because I'm happy to invest 350 credits on the poor man's account. All right, I'm happy to do that. Banning credits in general would probably be a bit harsh, right? Ooh, I'm not sure what to do here. Seven would go in here. Pretty good. Okay, seven goes in there. Nice. Eight goes here. And then didn't even need to. Six or six. Oh, boy. What's it going to mean, though? What does it mean? I saw one person on Twitter earlier on who got Tamatonga twice. Nice lucky draw for the main account. What's it going to get me, though? I've got something in eight cards. Oh, we've got an Inferno. Is this the card? Or is it just... I think I've got one at least. Okay, I've got one. Right. It's my boy, Tonga Low. I cannot wait to get the suit image on him. It's the real tribal chief, Tonga Low. Yes, sir. Okay, so that's a great start. What a what a maneuver. Do we get any others? No, no. Okay, so the rest of it was it was. Yeah, I don't care. But Tonga Low, I am very happy with that for the main account because I can immediately go to the Bloodline card and change this suited and booted absolutely beautiful but the calendar for october is about to drop oh boy i'm nervous whilst october got planned for wwe supercard it's spoopy month we're starting okay right we first of all have bad, bad blood we've got code breaker which is going to be interesting daily streaks We've got the first exclamation mark, legacy Halloween cards, haunting Halloween packs, and more in the monstrosity quest. So Halloween cards are dropping next week. 
back. It's happening. Then the Ministry of Darkness rises, collect Undertaker inspired. Oh, Undertaker inspired. So it's going to be an Undertaker event. And we got a Flash event next week. Wait a second. The Halloween cards are next week and we're dropping a Flash event for War Games and Road to Glory. Question marks at the end of the month interesting where is the battle pass that's very true where's the battle pass there isn't a battle pass on here they drop that that's got to go on until season 11 season 11 based on the dates we've got would come out on the 13th it, it's just not happening but another thing is we're not going to get twitch drops unless there's going to be something else that drops in there so that's a bummer that's a real bummer because i mean i don't think they would have done it for this if they're gonna do it they'll reintroduce it in season 11 that'd be my guess i would love to see christmas drops i personally think this is a either a new event or a reimagining of an old event that's coming back or is where they actually talk about season 11. Flash events can be put in for special events like special cards. It's happened in the past. I very much doubt they'll do another tier between now and the new season. I very much doubt it. If they do, they're going to piss off a lot of people because you'd have a 28 day tier and another 28 day tier. And no one's going to do that. So unless this is like the biggest swindle ever, I very much doubt we are going to have that. They have never, or well not since season two, opened a new rarity with a ranked event. And there is a reason it doesn't happen. And that's because of top eights. If you drop a ranked event the day after a new tier drops, every single person in that tier is going to have an unbalanced and underpowered deck it'd be insanely difficult the reason they're dropping another last man standing in there is because they seem to be speeding up towards the end of the month for what looks like either a new event or possibly season 11 announcement which would make sense as to why they're doing a question mark with lots of question marks around it but also it could be something related to halloween it could be a gift i mean hey this war games and rtg might be a halloween special card to drop before they drop all the undertaker stuff and then drop an Undertaker on Last Man Standing as well. There's a lot. Another thing that's important to note for those who are doomsaying about it being a Flash event, this is a men's Flash event. It's not women's. So why would they drop a new tier without dropping a women's event? They're not going to piss people off with a brand new tier just before a new season. It's just not going to happen. But no one would spend money on it either. Everyone's gone and spent their credits on this new rarity. And now you've turned around and opened a new tier. So that just gives me no incentive to play until the next game. Why would people do that? If a new tier drops, I will see that as a slap to the face. And I will be telling every single person on a video of mine, you spent your money on it and then they drop this which is bull. I don't see a new rarity dropping. If it happens, I'll eat a hat. I'm going to regret that, aren't I? Now we've done the monthly stuff. We're going back to who's going to win. Is it going to be poor man's supercard? Or is it going to be the main account? And so far, the main account has done a crazy job obtaining a Tonga lower and two WrestleMania 40s. So we're going to see if the poor man's account can do one better. Also, no odds on the packs again. Cat daddy, not cool. Just saying. So remember, I'm not allowed to spend really any credits because i don't have the credits to spend so this is gonna be fun let's draw the first set of cards and see how lucky we're gonna get or unlucky we're gonna drop an eight i think i can get away with a five there or do i split them between i don't know we set bases or do the bases not belong to us i've done seven or seven to get a five on the middle one six would take me over on this one Ooh, okay. We are in a little bit of a pickle. So six would take us to hype two on this one. We're in a bit of a pickle. And I'm going to draw again. Oh, dear. We have a very big problem, ladies and gents. Oh, dear. The hype train has derailed the poor man's supercard account. Oopsie. I mean, there's a chance I could get a bloodline card, but I very much doubt that's going to happen. We've got Enigma CM Punk. I mean, he's a free-to-play account. That's bloody fantastic. And Damien Priest. But yeah not cool did i get screwed over then or what main account gets the dub but you have to see who wins the overall competition on the next episode of poor man supercar because it's coming this is just a little teaser full interjection there if you're not feeling spooky enough well i'm going to give you a shocker locker codes are in supercard and the first ever code was dropped yesterday just before the premiere of nxt on the cw network along with this beautiful julia card although she did 
spoiler alert, lose, which makes it a little bit weird that she's the number one lady in the tier. Anyway, these are currently called gift codes, which I'm assume will probably take the place of QR codes very soon. I'll explain why in a moment. The code is all caps, whoop, that ego. But where do I enter the code for ego? Well, you can go to either the link I've put in the description and the top of the comments down below, or go to your internet browser and enter wesupercard.com for Forward slash redeem. Enter the code in their login using your player ID, which will be in at the very bottom of your player profile. You'll then be presented with the All Ego Pack, which has a 5% chance of getting the former NXT champion, Ethan Page, but also comes with a very nice free Trick Williams and CM Punk as a bonus in case you don't get so lucky. Let us know in the comments how you get on with that and whether the pack you get has Ethan Page in. But why the change from a QR code? to a redeemable locker code or a gift code. I think QR codes will naturally drift away from being the main choice of rewarding people now. It's going to be a lot simpler and easier for Cat Daddy Supercard 2K to generate gift codes that people can just put into the Supercard website, meaning they can be on the pulse more for events as and when they happen than it is to set a QR code up, make sure it works, make sure it doesn't link to something else and ensure the right content goes into it. There's also the general confusion over QR codes because they are used for pretty much everything else. Literally the whole world has gone QR code crazy. So having their own system where they can create and then have people redeem their own codes takes out the confusion. You've just got to go to the website, insert a code and boom, done. I think it's a simpler process all around and maybe they're going to be bringing like the daily streaks in game, which haven't gone live just yet. As you can see in the store with the coming soon logo, that season 11 will have a section where you can redeem codes instead of having to go to the Supercard website. As long as the redemption has been successful, you'll then receive a pack in your inbox. You open it up and well, I didn't get myself an Ethan Page, but I did get a brand new CM Punk and Trick Williams, which for the poor man's account, as you've just seen, will be very very nice oh yeah before we get back to the hype trains i do want to bring up the undertaker event which you see here the ministry of darkness rises and it says collect undertaker inspired special edition card now the fact that it says inspired means it's going to be other superstars more than likely now it just so happens that there was a photo shoot a few years ago including some faces that are no longer present in wwe that might be about to feature in this event now it could just be all animated cards or a fresh set of Halloween images being produced by WWE, for example. But there are some amazing cosplays for this by Shinsuke Nakamura, Selena Vega, who with that piece of equipment will probably be one of the most powerful cards in the game, if it was to happen, Bianca Belair, AJ Styles, Alexa Bliss, and Liv Morgan. It seems that next week on the 9th, we're going to get a base set of Halloween cards, and then when the Undertaker event drops, it's going to be a new set, similar to the Spring and Summer events. I think this could be really cool, or Alternatively, they end up making animated versions instead, which is fine. Just don't have Dominic with extendo arms. Now let's get back to the hype train because there's a couple more I think you guys need to see. Yikes. Segway. Some people have been really lucky, others not so much. Let's draw the next set of cards. Ooh, sevens and sevens. Ooh, this is bad. Six there. Can I do seven again? No, I can't. That's going to be overhyped. Ah, oh, my goodness. We've been booked into a shoot, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, yep. I think we're done, though. So, do I spend 350? Oh, 850. If I get screwed over without any fives here, I'm going to go mad. Yeah! Let's go. All three tracks, baby. The question is. Is it going to be another Bloodline card or are we going to bleed out? That might not actually be a good line. Anyway, let's go. Okay, so I need my card there. I don't think that's a good sign. Uh, Summer Sam? Say hello to Eddie. Thanks. That was bad. That was really bad. I'll go for a five. I'm not sure what to do. Six for the five. Oh, come on. That's rough. Okay. I've got 350. What do I do? Do I put it here and just get rid? Or do I chance my arm for a five? Because if I chance it, I'm screwed. But we're going to discard. Draw it. Oh, clutch. That's again another six, baby. Can we get another Bloodline card? We've got a The Rock. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? What? 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 How did a free go get me better than what? 
That was really bad. Really, really bad. We got a nine here. Oh boy. So we gotta go for eight. Oh no. I need to go over here. Yeah, nine. I messed up. I should have just done an immediate discard. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Six and six doesn't work. I don't know what to do, guys. Do I discard and hope for two five? I think it's screwed. I think we're, we're messed up. You can't salvage that. So since my free pack, things really haven't gone my way, have they? Maybe we can hope for the best with this one. Okay, so we've got a five, six, and six. Ooh. Okay, so we'll do a six here and a five on the bottom. Eight, eight, seven. Is it even possible to get out of that? Okay, do I spend the extra credits to get a six or a five? Or do I just claim it? Five or six. Hey, there we go. Woo! What, what am I getting excited for? I'm gonna get crap anyway. Let's go. Can't wait to get no Inferno cards. Wonderful. That says more than I need to know. Nope, 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 nope. That is definitely an Inferno. No. So with the bad odds I got from Hype Train, plus you get a free go every day, I'm kind of not feeling spending any more from this. I'm probably just going to take a chill. So I'm just going to take it easy. I'm, I'll do one more Hype Train for the Vine. Got six. Oh, okay, cool. So this, this is easy. There we go. Oh, no. It's not easy. Oh, damn. Well, sh Oh, I don't know what have I done? It was going so well. And then I back it. We'll do it for the vine. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Let's go, baby. We got it in the end. Do we get do we, do we at least get an inferno card? Come on. Enigma. Oh, you are taking okay, we're done. It's over. Bye bye. See you later. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No. Bye. Not happening. That mode can eat my whole Not a chance. No way. Nah. -uh. Watch this video and still playing dungeons and drop kicks. We'll go over to this video up here to see how to get a very special Game Master version of Xavier Woods. Or if you're stuck on Throne Hunter, maybe you want to go to this video down here where you can find out how to get all of the Throne Hunter cards free of charge. But I've been JB. You have been awesome. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Bye. -bye.